Hey everyone, Angelo here, homeless filmmaker in LA. Been living in my car for 16 months. I did the math, finally. And uh, it, it was like 45 degrees this morning, so I know cold for a bird bath for me, meaning just bathe with a bottle of water like I did yesterday in that video on the street in sandals and shorts. But um, so the water is going to be too cold, but I'm just holding this water basically against my body and I put it in my sleeping bag this morning I should have done it earlier to try and warm it up with my body heat and hopefully it's warm enough to where I can stand outside then and rinse myself off and I'm basically alright but uh, people have offered me showers thank you if anyone else has showers to offer let me know especially in the valley like Burbank Sun Valley San Fernando Tahunga um, North Hollywood all those areas. I don't know what other names for parts of the valley that are close by, but um, I'm trying not to go to anyone's shower today or any other day unless I need to because everyone who's offered is like 20 or 30 miles away. Um, you know, and it, I appreciate it a lot. I'll, I'll ask them to use their shower if I feel I need to, but for now, unless I really need to, I'd rather not spend the money on gas because I don't know where my money's going to come from. Um, I was hired to work on my first paid feature film next month, and I haven't heard anything about that yet, any updates, but I'm not expecting it to go forward. And I was hired to be key grip, which is really good. It's like, sort of like the head of the grips. Well, I say sort of it is, it's key grip. So it's like I'm the head of a team of a department. So that's good. And it's a paid job, again, about a four week shoot, which is great. Um... And, you know, I work with a cinematographer to execute their plan for lighting. I haven't heard anything uh, on that film yet. So I don't know where my income is going to come from. I looked at Craigslist like this morning. I couldn't sleep. I'm so amped up by this news. I got to calm down. There was one post in the crew section yesterday for film crew. And uh, all it was was uh, somebody hiring to make videos for them doing their comedy and they said, you know, this is just me. Uh, I don't have much money. I'm paying for this myself and I'm not going to make money on it. But, you know, let me know what you charge. That's it. Normally there's, I don't know how many, 20, 30 posts a day for crew. So films are shutting down. Um, they're delaying releases indefinitely. <laughs> Excuse me, because of this stuff, movies that have recently come out are going out early on streaming because uh, the studios and producers and everybody and filmmakers know that a lot of theaters are shut down now and it's a health hazard so they're just putting them online like Birds of Prey was released online I, uh, I forget what else um, so I want to know how you all are surviving because maybe you know, some of you have savings. Maybe some of you can rely on family members or family members are relying on you. But I don't think this is going to be just two weeks. People are still ignoring the, uh, you know, rules on isolating and quarantines. People are still traveling. Uh, people have to work, you know. Um, and for those who are going to miss work, you can't necessarily afford to take three or four days off work. I know that was my position when I was work, living in Arlington. I didn't even want to take a few days off work because then I couldn't pay my rent, couldn't pay for my groceries. So not only, okay, we got this thing going two weeks, at least in LA, where the gyms are going to be closed, theaters are closed, uh, like a lot of entertainment services are closed. Laundry mats are still open, restaurants are open, but you got to take carry out food. What if it goes beyond two weeks? Which I think it will, for, because this is just beginning. It's still spreading. Uh, we didn't take it seriously. The administration didn't take it seriously. There's still people like Jerry, uh, uh, what's not Jerry Falwell, but Billy Graham's son, who's still trying to you know get people together in groups. Still pastors trying to get people together, saying uh, uh, mocking um, the idea of coronavirus. Um, there's still uh, a lot of uh, basically characters on the right, right wingers. Um, Sheriff Clark, who was saying, "Everybody go out, don't stay in." Um, there's still people going to concerts, going to parties. So 
they're all not thinking, you're all not thinking, and uh, don't recognize not only your own mortality, but that of people around you. I listened to some guy on the radio a few days ago saying, yeah, I'm going to Hawaii with my kids. I'm like, you selfish fuck. And they said, well, what if you get it? He's like, oh, well, I'll just, you know, stay in quarantine myself because I don't want to give it to my mom or something. I'm like, so you really just need vacation, huh? That badly? Like, you can control the transmission of a disease? By the way, it's like you, and then if you infect one person, they may infect other people. Other people may infect other people that infect your mom. And apparently a lot of people are trying to vacation to Hawaii now in order to isolate. They think going to Hawaii will isolate them. Uh, Hawaii's been devastated enough by a lot of horrible uh, things and horrible policies. And they have a lot of homelessness as a result. Um, it's very expensive to live there. But you know how the whites are. Very foolish. Uh, I'm white, so I can say that. But uh, how are you all surviving? Like, what are your all plans? I'm curious. I want to know because I don't hear what people's plans are. Some people are, t a lot of people are talking about rent strike, refuse to pay rent. Landlords are trying to evict people. And some, uh, pe some people are saying, you know, let's just not go anywhere. Make them evict us. Um, but a lot of people will just leave when they're evicted because they don't know how to fight it. They don't want to. Uh, they may not have the money to stay, live there anyways if it comes to that. And if people can't work for a week or two, they're all of a sudden not going to be able to pay their rents, utilities, groceries, medical bills. Not that many people can pay those. Hospitals are already getting near capacity in some areas like New York. And, uh, uh, what's his name? Andrew Cuomo, I think. Yeah, he said, like, we don't expect we'll be able to ha handle everyone in our hospitals. We're going to need, like, the military to come in and set up emergency, like, field medical services. So I'm wondering, how are you all surviving? Like, do some of you know, okay, you have savings or your parents have savings or um, you can work remotely or something? But the thing is, it's not just you and your job. It's like, what if everything around you stops functioning? You know, what if you're not able to get the things you need done? Um, what if people around you all of a sudden are getting evicted and the disease is spreading? Um, the mayor, or the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, said now he wants to claim motels to get all 108,000 homeless people into shelter. Um, funny how quickly he can, if he wants, get shelter for people. Because even the people who hate homeless people realize... Oh, if they're on if they're on the street or whatever, if they're not sheltered, they can't really quarantine, and they're going to be spreading disease. And what are we going to do? Put them in jail? It's going to spread disease. Put them in the hospital? It's going to spread disease. Are some of you planning, you know, for like the worst? Meaning you can't pay your bills, you're going to have to move into your vehicles or move in with family, or just move somewhere way cheaper. Or maybe go somewhere you can just, you know, support yourselves, like, uh, you know, grow your own food. Uh, are you planning on writing this out? Because it's not just going to be two weeks. Like I said, it's we're so ill-prepared for this. So what happens if it's two or three months uh, of things not getting back to normal? I don't even mean just total, like, isolation like this, but two or three months or four months, that's going to totally change uh, the world, how it functions. I'm still trying to warm up this water bottle, because I know it doesn't, oh man, it's hard when I'm not cocooned into it. I'm better off like keeping it behind my back, I guess, even though that's uncomfortable. Yeah, that is uncomfortable. Okay, not doing that. I'll just put my hands on it and put it against my stomach. I'm still dissociating somewhat. It sucks. Uh, getting better overall. Um, as for me, I've been, you know, making some money enough to live on film work. Um, and this next film, I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't heard anything. But uh, that was definitely going to keep me going the next month. And possibly more than that. But now films are shutting down. And it's a safety issue. You know, it's smart. You don't know who's got 
the uh, the illness. Right now my allergies are acting up. It sucks. My nose is starting to get all stuffed up. Um, but yeah, let me know how you're surviving. And uh, don't hoard stuff. Obviously, it's ridiculous. There's enough stuff out there for people to get food and water, toilet paper. Um, I'm uh, just trying to still keep eating healthy. I'm cutting back what I'm eating. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. Um, also, I don't have as much time to think about being hungry when I'm out and moving around. So I'm reading. I'm probably going to try and get some more books because uh, the libraries are closed. And uh, so I can't work on my laptop. I can't edit videos there. I um, There's not really much... I mean, I'll still look for jobs, I guess, film work, but I don't know if it's smart to do that. And also, I don't know if, uh, I mean, there's not going to be much posted. And uh, really, I'm thinking, how do we all survive? Like, meaning, uh, yeah, how do I, well, first of all, yeah, eat well, exercise. I'm still exercising just in the park. You know, I can use the pull-up bars, dip bars, do push-ups, burpees, lunges, squats, um, but I'm thinking, okay, like, you know, we're going to have to really change how we do things here so that a few days off work doesn't to cripple the country and much of the world. And I'm sure we're not going to see all the effects of it go away for a long time, for years. So and I just got to deal with myself right now to get over the dissociation, my depersonalization, derealization disorder. Uh, just take care of myself. I drink apple cider vinegar with water, uh, lemon juice when the food bank still has lemons. I still have one or two left, I think. I take vitamins, fish oil pills. Um, so, uh, anyways, but let me know how you're, uh, doing it. Um, are, or are you facing, you know, eviction or, uh, you know, wondering how your town's going to survive if you live in a small town or something, even around here. Okay. LA's a big area, man. It's just going to change things so much. It was already so hard to live here with it being so expensive to live. All right.